former American diplomat who pleaded guilty to charges he served as a spy for Cuba is back in court today. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live from outside the courthouse in Miami with everything that happened at the hearing. Leanne. And just moments ago, he was officially sentenced. He will spend 15 years in federal prison for his act of betrayal against the United States. He will also have to pay a total of $500,000 in fines. The judge telling him today that his actions were a direct attack on our democracy and that he turned his back on the country that gave him everything. He also addressed the court saying that he uh, that he no longer views the world in a way that he did many years ago, that he takes full responsibility, continues to make amends and that he is deeply sorry. Protesters outside the federal courthouse in downtown Miami, where Manuel Rocha pleaded guilty. A former American diplomat admitting to one count of acting as an illegal agent of a foreign government and one count of conspiracy. He was arrested late last year for acting as a spy for the Cuban government for more than five decades. This action exposes one of the highest reaching and longest lasting infiltrations of the U.S. government by a foreign agent. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland spoke from Washington to announce the charges back in December. The complaint alleges that Rocha sought out and used his positions within the United States government to support Cuba's clandestine intelligence gathering mission against the United States. Rocha worked for two decades as a U.S. diplomat, including top posts in Bolivia and Argentina. The FBI received information that Rocha was allegedly a covert agent of Cuba's intelligence service. The feds say he admitted as much to an undercover FBI agent, even referring to the United States as the enemy during recorded conversations. He told the undercover that his efforts to infiltrate the United States government were, quote, meticulous and, quote, very disciplined. Now, this plea hearing didn't go as smoothly as I'm sure the federal prosecutors had hoped. The judge took issue with some facets of this agreement, including the fact uh, that the, the restitution, who they would pay restitution to, that specific victims were not named. Uh, and also they are. So because of that, uh, we should tell you that they're also opening the door to revoke his citizenship in the future. Uh, they'll have a, a civil proceeding to establish whether that will happen uh, and that they will later identify uh, witnesses, specific witnesses to whom he may have to pay restitution. We're live in downtown Miami. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Leanne, thanks a lot.